Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to our channel. My name is Leah. I'm a fourth year veterinary student and tomorrow I'm taking my Navali. The Navali is our board's exam. It stands for the North American Veterinary Licensing Examination. Um, it is a seven hour test, basically six sections of 60 questions each. Five of the sections count. One is experimental, but we don't know which one and it covers literally everything in veterinary medicine and that includes public health um, so we can have questions on any species on plant identification on reporting diseases um, treating diseases things that affect humans so like food safety um, is all on this exam so it's definitely a big exam i have been studying for months so although i'm nervous i feel ready and prepared um, and i'm excited but Definitely some test day jitters, I'm sure, will arrive anytime now. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along. So it's like 9.15 now. Got into bed, took my shower. I'm going to go to sleep soon. Wake up in the morning. I have to be at the testing center at 7.30. Um, so I'm going to wake up probably around 6. Um, but I'm excited and we will see how this goes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. and I'm about to just eat a little bit of breakfast. Um, Duncan used to have these amazing egg potato scramble bowl things and they hate me and they got rid of them. So now I have these just cracking eggs every once in a while and they're good, but they're not as good as the Duncan ones, but it's fine. And did you know that the FDA regulates fish and eggs, but the USDA regulates egg products? Yep. Fun stuff, things I have to know in about an hour. Okay, so you guys know I am team snacks always. So for my Navli, you get um, a snack break. Well, you get a break. I'll probably be eating a snack during all of them um, between every section. So I went to Target yesterday, my favorite place on earth, and I got these like knockoff Lunchables, ham and crackers and cheese. I got these laughing cow cheeses, which are really, really good. They're like, um, if you remember when we were younger, they had those like terrible, like plastic square things with like the neon orange cheese and crackers. Those were my jam. These are like an adult version of them. They're super good. I also got raspberries, which I probably should wash. And then I have some little baby cookies, some Swedish fish, some trolleys, I love these, and some chocolate that um, 
I'm in OTS, which is like the vet fraternity, and they dropped off a little care package last night, which was super cute. So I'm taking chocolate too. Love that. And I also have had like a terrible canker sore in my cheek for like three days now. It's miserable. I can barely eat. It's probably stress related. So I'm going to take about 16 Advil with me too. It's like 7.25. I just pulled into the parking lot at the testing center. So I'm about to go in and take my Navali. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, but overall feeling excited and ready. Um, I've taken about a billion tests to get to this point. This is kind of the last hurdle to the DVM. And I know that I've prepared to the best of my ability. I know that my professors are fantastic and they've been preparing me for years, even before this was even on my radar um so i am cautiously optimistic um still definitely nervous but more than that just excited to do this um and be done so i will hopefully i don't know how this is gonna go hopefully check in with you guys throughout the day as i'm taking my exam um and then obviously do a debrief but it's time let's do it Okay, it's like 10 o'clock. I am done with two of my sections. Um, so I'm taking my first break now and I'm eating my raspberries. Um, so far so good. It's kind of draining mentally. It's really long. I'm normally like a really fast test taker, um, but I'm like going up to the entire like 60 minutes per block, which I'm not expecting, but otherwise doing good. I'm halfway done. I'm tired. I hate pigs. Okay, I'm done with four blocks. I have two to go. I'm not in my normal spot because there's a group of middle-aged white men gathering, maskless, so it's fine. I have my snack. I'm dying. and I came out at 2.42, so that's seven hours, right? Math, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, seven hours. I'm exhausted. Um, I have like no idea how I did. I feel like I could have passed and I feel like if I failed, I wouldn't even be surprised. Like. My brain is just done, I think. <sighs> like, there were parts of it where I was like, this isn't terrible. And then there was parts that I was like, I literally have never even heard of this animal. Like the animal, guys, not the disease, not the treatment. I was literally like, what is this animal? I don't know what this is. Am I going to be a veterinarian? Allegedly. Do I know all the animals? Guess not. Also, like, so many questions on parrots. Why? Why? How many people do you know that own a parrot? And I hate cows. And I hate pigs. Also horses. And my canker sore is killing me. It hurts so bad. And I brought Oragel 
to numb the pain, but then um, I accidentally swallowed some of it. So then I thought that maybe I was gonna go into respiratory arrest because I couldn't feel my throat. <sighs> it's a cluster, but we did it, I guess. Hopefully I never, ever, 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 ever have to do that again. But if I do, at least that prep will pay for it. All right, well, I think I'm gonna go buy myself a plant. That's what I'm doing. Options of plants that I knew Adam would allow me to bring in the house because I had kind of have a problem and there were a lot of very large plants. So I got this little baby pothos. Look how cute! And the pot is too big, but I got rocks that I'm gonna put in the bottom and then I'm gonna plant it in the soil. And hopefully it'll trail because I have another pothos that I've had for like I don't know, five months maybe? I got it early in my plant obsession like May, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Five months. And it still isn't trailing and it's very upsetting. So I picked one that's already starting to trail. Look how cute. Oh, love. Okay, now I'm gonna go home and I'm almost out of gas. So I'm hoping I make it and then maybe Adam will just go get me gas later because I've had a very hard day. Update. My gas light went on. There are many, many things that I do not like about Ohio, but being able to fill up my gas tank for $24, that's pretty good. Hey everyone, I made it back to my bed. It's like six o'clock. Um, this day has been very long and I'm really tired and my brain is really mushy. Um, but so many people have been like calling and texting and messaging on Instagram and checking in on me and I super appreciate all of that. Um, I'm super lucky to have a lot of really supportive people in my life um, and I can't thank you guys all enough if you're watching um, for that. So hopefully I never have to do that again but I guess my pearls of wisdom, my debrief, I know I'm taking it pretty early um, in this testing window so if you are looking for advice i would definitely suggest taking the day prior as much as you can obviously on if you're on clinics you don't have the day off but um to just like relax um not study do something that makes your soul happy so i spent time outside yesterday um hung out with christopher and adam and took a little nap like it was just a very good self-care day and I think that that helped me go into things this morning a lot calmer and a lot um more mentally prepared um I think another piece of advice is like you literally are not going to know everything I completed all of that prep a hundred percent and there were things on the Navli that I literally had never seen before ever in my life um and I think just knowing that is to be expected is important. Um, I definitely would say take your breaks. Um, I took a break after my first two sections, a break after my third, a break after my fourth, and then I did my fifth and sixth straight through. And I went outside 
luckily it was a nice day so I was able to get some fresh air and I think that really helped like clear my head in between each section um and then honestly just like maintaining a positive sort of outlook like I did not know what was going on and I truly wouldn't be surprised if I failed um and had to retake it again but I refused to let that thought kind of creep in or if it did I was thinking well you know what if I have to take it again, I don't have to pay for it because I finished that prep. Um, so I think just keeping keeping as positive as you can, knowing that you're not going to know everything. Everybody has things that they're good at. I, for example, am not good at anything large animal, evidently, but it's fine. Um, and yeah, those are my, my pearls of wisdom. And... I think for the rest of the day I'm just gonna hang out with Chris and relish in the fact that I don't have to open vet prep <laughs> so thanks for coming along with me today I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you got something out of it maybe a little glimpse into what is what Natalie is like I definitely didn't know what to expect so hopefully this helps you um be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one bye